Hi guys, hope you're all well. Welcome to the Exit Light channel. And today, I'm going to just be talking, um, me and Tracy were talking about our bucket list of haunted paranormal places we'd, that we'd like to visit around the around the world if we could um, have a magic carpet to take us. I would like today to talk to you for about four of my places which I really, really would love to go, that I've seen on TV, and I really, really would love to go. The first one is the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. It's supposedly one of America's most haunted locations. Now, I've seen this on Ghost Adventures, on so many different uh, ghost hunting programs have been there. And I've seen the photographs of what looks like one of the, um, well, basically one of the slaves I can't think what her name is, but um, standing beside a building. And the story behind, if I can remember rightly, is of Chloe, I think her name was. She was hung because she poisoned the uh, landowner's ch children, but it was by mistake. He, supposedly there was an affair, and it all looked really, really complicated, but um she poisoned she meant to poison him and his wife but ended up poisoning the children and then she was hung and she's supposed to haunt the place now so that's the myrtle's plantation the next place i'd like to go and this has got to be a favorite of most if you like go something you're gonna like this place the eastern state penitentiary in philadelphia it was once the most famous and expensive prison in the world, but today stands in ruins. I would so love to go and visit this place and spend a night here. Oh, it would be a dream come true. I have seen it when Ghost Adventures went to the prison, and also, do you remember Ghost Hunters? For people out there that like them kind of programmes, Ghost Hunters went there, and I remember a piece of footage. They had a, a static camera, um, pointing down one of the corridors um, and they, they filmed this thing it looked like a dog or something or some kind of creature running towards the camera and then dis disappearing if you um, can remember that I would love to hear about it in the comments because it was amazing it was absolutely amazing I really really would love to go to this place okay the next place I would like to go. Hoya Baku Forest. And I probably spelt that wrong. I probably said it wrong as well. In Romania. It was known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. People think that it could be a portal. Um, there's a ghost reported there. There's ghost lights reported there. There's so much activity. It's crazy. People have gone missing. And right in the centre... If you remember, if you remember watching it on Ghost Adventures, there is an area, probably the size of a, a football pitch, where nothing will grow. It's just grass. No, nothing will grow there at all. Only the grass. And I remember Ghost Adventures, um, camping out in the middle of this, um, area that's got no trees, and then there was sounds coming from and ghost lights all night coming from in the forest. Now they had cameras up in the forest and it was never, nothing was ever seen. It was just crazy. It was just absolutely crazy. I would love to go there and spend the night. But the only problem with me, I don't know if anyone's the same. I think I would prefer, I think I would feel safer if I was in a building that was supposedly haunted. Because if you have a lot of activity and if you get scared, you can leave the building. You can come outside and, you know, providing you're not followed or got an attachment. But what what do you do when you're outside? What do you do when you're outside? Where do you go? You know, you can't run away from something that's outside. So that scares me a little bit. That's a bit of a stupid thing, but it just, it just scares me. And the the fourth place I'd like to go... Well, I don't know if I'd like to go here. It would intrigue me to go. 
is the suicide forest in Japan. Now, I can't say um, the actual name of the place, but it's called the suicide forest because the forest, it, the actual forest stands at the foot of Mount Fuji. Now, when I was doing research for this place, they use the word popular. Now, I don't think it's the word popular is is right for this, but it says it's the second most popular place in the world for suicides. The first place being the Golden Gate Bridge in, I think it's in San Francisco. This is scary. In, in the forest in 2010 alone, 247 people attempted to take their own lives. Only 54 of them, only, sorry, own. Um, just 54 were, suscept were successful. But 247 people um go into this forest is it the is it the forest itself that i don't know obviously there's reports of ghosts people going missing ghost lights as well um people uh, there is a brilliant film there's a really really good film um called the forest and it's about this place and he filmed it at the actual forest um yeah, that was somewhere that I'd really, really like to go. I really, really would like to go there. Um, but it would scare me. It would it would scare me. Anyway, guys, that's just my top four. We are going to be doing a podcast on this. So, um, if you've got anywhere, put it in the comments, please. And I'd like to give a shout out to the Paranormal Voice Community Hub, which are brilliant, and they are letting us put our Exit Light content on their on their on their group which is brilliant and it's a brilliant it's a brilliant group anyway so if you get the chance to to have a look have a look do me a favor hit that like button if you're not subscribed subscribe so you can be notified of any new content that's coming out and i will see you all soon you all take care god bless and remember don't let the bed bugs bite